Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Shar Henley. She's like the opposite of us. She makes passport bro videos shaming us. So uh, let's see what they have to say with the videos they <laughs> they put on there. <laughs> Please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. Let's get to that chow. It's chow time. Normally and typically in an Arab household. I told you guys, they're going to be stitching this freaking clip till the end of days. The man usually is the provider financially. I was not anticipating that. It would mean I have to be the sole provider for a household. I didn't sign up for this. If you're going to go to another country to find a spouse, you might want to learn a little something about that culture before you book that plane ticket. I'll, I will agree with her on this one. You should be knowing some things about that culture before you go. Good morning, TikTok. Today on Found and Found Out News, we chronicle the misadventures of a passport bro in Morocco. Again, it's not Passport Bro. It's from TLC. It's 90 Day Fiance. I wouldn't consider them real Passport Bros, especially when there's a camera on them. People have no idea that these like reality TV shows are all staged and all scripted. So like, I'm sure it was scripted that way to make men look bad. But yeah. A lot of these passport bros, in addition to being incredibly misogynist, are also incredibly racist and xenophobic. Whoa. That came out of nowhere. So we're racist because we like would rather date and travel and marry women from other races? How is that xenophobic and racist? Well, I mean, the misogyny thing, I understand why you said that because women love to say it but they view other countries and women in those other countries as being beneath them whoa projection projection much we don't view them as beneath us we view them as better than you guys so like you're projecting that you feel that they're beneath you that's why you're saying that men don't believe these women are beneath them Men don't really view it that way. This man thought that he could go to Africa, <clears throat> go to Morocco, meet an Arab woman, and she would be just so grateful to have him, a white American husband. And in her gratitude, he could sell her on some BS of romantic love and any standards she had would go flying right out of the window and she would do anything to be with him, to keep him, to make the relationship work. A lot of these passport bros are finding out the hard way that these women in other countries in a lot of circumstances are much more demanding than the average American woman, right? They have these very infantilized views of women from other countries as just being like happy little puppies. I give her a pat on the head and she'll be- No, that's exactly what you guys think. That's exactly what women in the West think of these women. No, we don't think that there's some puppies that we just pet and, you know, get our dicks sucked or whatever the fuck you think it is happening. No, we believe that they will work with us. They will help build with us. They will help take care of the home. And we're more than willing to take care of them. Most passport bros do well. This is why that Moroccan clip is so stupid to me. Like, we know what's going on. When that are leaving the West to find women... Fully understand, mostly, that we have to take care of all the bills. That's why we're willing to go to other countries where our money stretches further. This is where women are just projecting their insecurities and in, you know, and their prejudices and their racism and their xenophobia on us. Be so grateful. I toss her a treat every now and then, and she'll be so grateful. They didn't see these women as fully actualized human beings, fully developed adults again the projection is crazy like men don't see these women as human beings as fully developed adults like what the fuck are you talking about lady who would have standards and expectations of them and of course like they do with us he immediately takes a trying to shame her for her requirements and she's standing on them she's saying listen i'm not trying to change you i'm telling you this is what it is give me what i want or get out of the way it's so refreshing to see a woman who's not so desperate just to say that she has a man that she's willing to put up with whatever crumbs he tosses to her. Women in the West were the ones that fought for 50-50. Men didn't fight for this. This is where it's so stupid to me that they bring this up all the time. Men didn't care. Men have always provided, you know. 
why would we care now when we can provide for a woman easier overseas than here? And they are more willing to do things for us, love us, and actually respect us than women in the West. I'm not even worried about that woman. The mindset that she has, whether she's with this man or not, she's going to be all right. And perhaps being told internationally that he needs to level up will be exactly the motivation that this man needs to do exactly that. See, but the gag is this guy and all these other passport bros and Western men. Oh, so this is literally a stitch of all of these clips. Oh, these women really think this guy is a really representation of passport bros. They really think that. Don't realize just how much Western feminism has benefited them. How much women pushing to be working and earning money outside of the home has benefited them. No, it has not benefited us that much. Other than, yes, there are more people in the workforce, so we have a bigger mind to be able to like, improve society in a sense. But wages stagnated as soon as women came into the workforce. Pro productivity skyrocketed and wages stayed still. I wonder why that happened. Because women came into the workforce and stagnant wages for everyone. So men used to be able to support women with the wages they had before women came into the workforce and made it so it flooded the market with labor. And that's why we don't get paid as much as we used to. That's part of the big reason why. So there no, men have not benefited too much from this Western feminism that you're speaking of. Other than, yes, Maybe they've got some better rights. Yes, maybe there is some things that are a little bit better. But overall, feminism literally taught women to hate men. The patriarchy theory is part of the main core tenets. And sexual liberation. Like, there's so many loose women now and so many women with such high body counts. Men didn't say, go out and do it. No, women wanted to do it. Men are just like, well, fuck it. Do what you want. So, again... I don't know why these benefits that you're speaking of exactly. Because see, right? The guy is basically trying to get somebody to bankroll his man of the house cosplay. Because that's what it is. Cosplay. You cannot expect somebody to go in 50-50 on the capital of a house and building a life together and childcare and all of these other things about building a family and building a life together. See, this is stupid to me. My mother and father had nothing together. They came to this country and worked a business together. My father worked 20 hours. My, my mother worked like 12 hour days working the donut shop. So like the whole Moroccan women, oh, I don't, uh, you have to make the money, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to do anything. I'm going to be a housewife. That's also pretty stupid to me too. Most women want to do something, especially women in the other, the other countries. They know that they support their men with other things, especially with income and things like that. If I have a business, most likely an Asian woman will help run my business and help me with my business, especially with like women that are you know, in, in Asia, not women in America, right? Because I've seen it. I've seen all my aunts and all my uncles build empires together from nothing when they were refugees and came here with a five dollar bill and they are millionaires now so yes building together is a big purpose of families instead of finding a man to take care of everything and then you know just living off of him this is where I think the thought process of a lot of Western women are seeping into these other, you know, their projection. Not saying that these women aren't looking for men that are pretty stable and built, but they're also not gold diggers like you guys are expecting everything to be handled already. They understand that they will come and contribute and work with the man to make him even better and do more for the family. And then now be demanding, oh, but I'm the patriarch, you must submit, you must submit. It don't work that way, boo. You need man of the house money. See, Western men are not, uh, I think they can just come and be gods anyhow, because they've got their mindset on this, like, you know, colonial fantasy that, you know. Always has to come back to colonialism, to colonial fantasy, like women like literally have nothing else to say about this they literally just want to shame men in like any way possible for wanting to go out again these this, this 
this this clip doesn't even represent a passport bro so oh well you know i'll be lauded as a god over there in the global south pick any global south country right we're in we're in an arab and north african country over here in the context of this video morocco but the thing is in the global south the patriarchy actually patriarchies differently man so we understand in the global south we're like listen man <laughs> We can go 50-50 or you can be the man of the house, but you cannot have both because I am not going to bankroll this elaborate cosplay where you get to pretend like you're the man of the house when I am putting down 50% of the capital and then on top of that one, doing 90% of the child rearing labor. <laughs> it doesn't work that way, boo. This is why is it always the overweight bonnet wearing women that make the, the, the dumbest videos? Like why I say chocolate teapots because these Western men only want to look the part, but when it's time to actually put the hot water inside the teapot, see them melt. See them melt. The idea of actually having to do what a patriarch do is is boggling their minds. I didn't sign up for this. See, you're used to the competition here in the US where the expectation is different and varied depending on who it is you're talking to, where a lot of women don't have family who are taking care of them up until the point where they get married, where a lot of women have to go and get a career to survive. Meanwhile, in a place that has a more traditional culture, you have people whose families take care of them up until the point where they get married and they're expecting the man to be able to do. See, they, don't, they literally don't know. No, in most Asian countries and most other countries, women still have to work. It's just how it is nowadays. Families, yes, some families that are really well well off and wealthy will not have their daughters not work and you know until they get married. But that's not majority of people out there. Like you're literally cherry picking like the, the most successful families out there. A lot of families, everybody has to work. Everybody has to work. Everybody has to do something. Why? Because Everybody has to survive. Not everybody makes that much money in these countries. So the more labor that they can get out of their kids and out of everyone, the more they're able to to stabilize the family. At least the minimum of what they can do, if not better, because otherwise, what's her incentive to leave her current situation? And when she's normally dating men of her own culture, this is not something that needs to be explained. This is something that is a known expectation. And if you're not aware of that, you're at an extreme disadvantage because you're not only coming into the situation that. being like ignorant, you're also being extremely unrealistic. And it just is a waste of your time. It's a waste of everybody's time collectively. I promise you, if she were to bring you home to her family and be like, this is the guy I'm going to be with, they would look at her freaking crazy and they would not let that union happen like at all. I it's so funny that they mention, oh, if I brought him home, my family would not approve, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, how do you know this? How do you know this? As in a sense, like, because you don't do this. Women in the West don't do this. Women in the West don't vet men like this. And their families don't vet men like this. You don't even take your, your, your you don't even mention, or you take your boyfriend or whatever it is to your dad to get vetted. No, nobody does that in the West, rarely. So... Where, but yet when you go to other countries, you know that's the norm, and you know that's better, and you know that's what you know. Most men will get just vetted out because of this. This is so stupid to me, that women know how it works in other countries and how it turns out better for the women, but they don't do it here. They just think that oh, I can get the pick, and I'm the smarter one. I don't think it's materialistic to ask someone to respect your culture. And I don't think it's materialistic to expect that if you're going to be the full-time homemaker, that he's going to be the full-time financier of the family. You really can't have it both ways. You cannot have the woman who's going to do all of this stuff and then also take care of you. Because at that point, you're not a partner. You're a liability. A contentious take if I can. I think the standards that American women accept are much lower for their relationships than the standards that international women have. It's funny. They, yeah, you do have lower standards. Only for the chads. Only for a top tier set of men. Everybody else, nope. 100 grand, 6 feet, 
six inches, six pack, all that stuff. So again, they, these women love to project. This is not a dig at American women. I love my sisters. It's just to say that international women's standards are way higher. I have a theory on that. Speaking from a Ukrainian background, I think women kind of play a role. They are okay with taking on the domestic duties, rearing of the children, but also still having educations and professions. But that means that the men also take on a role in a character, and that is the role of a provider. Sales paid. Education for kids covered. House running. Bills are paid. I have never seen a Ukrainian woman ask her man for money. She puts her hand out, and that's all. That's that. That's all he needs to hear. It's like this interesting, quiet power. Where like she acts like the domestic goddess, and she does all the things. The house is clean. The food is made. But women in Ukraine run shit. And these passport bros, when they go to these countries, they're shocked by the fact that they wanted a partner who's 50-50, who's a domestic. Again, they want to bring up this 50-50 thing. This is not what passports are about. What passport bros are about. Domestic goddess and bills are paid. Like, boo-boo, you cannot have it both ways. I wanted to find this comment because it speaks again? to such a salient point that lots of people have been making different forms and variations of. A lot of people from African backgrounds and Asian backgrounds who have been seeing this video and have been engaging in the discourse around this whole thing, right? have said, this passport bros ain't ready. African women have been saying it from the minute the passport bros be started becoming a thing. They were like, you passport bros are not ready. Nope. You, maybe, because all the good-looking women, from what I can tell, have supported passport bros that are from Africa, the videos I've seen. It's always the women that kind of look like you that seem to have an issue with passport bros just pointing out something because you are saying you will find a woman in one of these countries because you believe that we're living in such squalor over here that we don't know a standard that we think you just being based again projection we don't think people live in swallow we, we would rather not deal with a person living in swallow like that's like basic <laughs> here will floor everybody as if we don't know what true financial stability looks like as if we don't know what a man holding it down looks like like the africans and asians in this discourse have already said when these women's families come and slap you over the head with dowry you will faint you're not ready for bride price you're not ready because real talk these passport bros um, thinking that they can just come into these global South countries, these developed- It's funny, like, now that they're like, oh, the dowries. Like, we knew about dowries, but it's funny that in the West, they think that dowries is like you're selling her, and you're, the family is selling her for profit or whatever it is. But, but when uh, men are starting to leave to go find women with dowries, oh, you're never going to be able to afford those dowries, blah, blah, blah. And this is like, what happened to your take of, oh, Women shouldn't be sold. Women aren't properties to be sold to men. What happened to all that? What happened to all that? Oh, you shut the fuck up when it's affecting you. <laughs> Developing countries, these poor nations, and just floor everybody with their middling salaries and think that they can just do sex tourism here and, you know, oh, it'll be easier to date here and find somebody to marry here because they don't expect as much, are in for such a rude awakening. And we're already beginning to see it. And also, just as, a, as an shit. aside, if you are really planning on going abroad to a different country to court somebody, please conduct the barest minimum of research as to the culture into which you are entering and what it's like to court somebody in that culture. I agree with that one. Because that man who was saying he expected somebody to pay 50-50 while being a stay-at-home wife and mother, he went to Morocco. He didn't realize... That in Morocco, you cannot um, ask a woman into your hotel room if you, ain't, if you ain't married. He didn't realize you can't be hugging and kissing on somebody you're, you're just caught in, in public. He didn't realize you couldn't do all of that one. So, <laughs> we said... Oh, it's a little bit different. See, this, these women are just, just, just all over the place. They're literally just going off of this one clip and expecting this, like, that all women are like this. Like, she's an Arab woman with a hijab. Yes, you're not going to be able to touch these women and like do these things. But in other countries where they're not Muslim or they're less, uh, the women that aren't Muslim, it's different. They're very, they're pretty open with, you know, affection and things like that in public. So, yeah, confused. Say all of this to say, guys, at least do the barest minimum of research because you think. 
I can also say the same to you. Why don't you do the barest minimum of research and see actually that most passport bros make over hundred grand. Most passport bros understand that they're going to be providing for the woman. Most passport bros are not going for 50, 50. Most passport bros are not going for Muslim women unless they're Muslim themselves. It's hard to, to date Muslims when you're not a Muslim yourself. It's a very hard thing. So that guy's just a complete idiot, period. So you're getting a sweetheart deal running away from Western women. But what they don't realize, they don't realize how much they have passively benefited from feminist work and feminist praxis. And it's particularly dangerous because they have not cared to unpack all of their patriarchal thinking and their toxic masculinity <laughs> and their misogyny. Because you can't be looking for a traditional woman and then date somebody and ask them into your hotel room. Like and subscribe for more. <sighs> I had to like debunk so much on that one. It's funny because like she's pretty decent size. She's like a double my size in subs. And the comment section in her videos are pretty ridiculous. And it makes me laugh. Maybe I'll even do a whole episode on that. I just don't want to do it now because the video is kind of long already. But oh uh, women it's, it's i actually like that there's a woman that made a whole TikTok to do the reverse of us because now i can use her content to uh to debunk and uh argue for passport bros i actually kind of like this so please like and subscribe down below i'd really appreciate it I'll get you guys next time it's